Faustino has been a speaker, a leader, an activist in Brazil and all around the world. We look forward to hear how the pandemic has impacted persons who experience Hansen's disease or leprosy in Brazil. Please, Faustino. Thank you, Matias. Thank you, the, the Lepers Mission, for this opportunity. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic brought us fear, anguish, uncertainty, and showed us how fragile we are and that we are on a constant battle against the system that oppresses us. One wish to live a minimally decent life. I spent almost a year of my life trapped at home, fear for me and my son. In the hard times, I did go out. I went shopping and to the pharmacy. And when I got back home, I always felt I had been infected. That was sheer paranoia. I wouldn't watch TV or listen to the radio. The news weren't good at all and didn't even make us comfortable. I struggled to breathe because of the anxiety that filled my chest. Any changes in body temperature or a respiratory disorder had me think I had caught COVID. I would inevitably and constantly cry. Whenever I learned someone had been infected or died, it was like COVID-19 was knocking on our doors. And it seemed even closer when we actually knew the person who was infected. But what made us said, sad the most was knowing that the president of the Republic of my country denied the existence of the virus, made foreign relations difficult and accused other countries of spreading the disease provoked and encouraged agglomerations, laughed at the suffering of the Brazilian population, and they recommended medicines without and prove efficacy against COVID-19. He did not negotiate the charts of vaccines, witnessing all that before our eyes and in our country made us desperate. We could not believe in this harsh and cruel truth, but yes, that was what we have seen and are seeing in Brazil. So far, less than 20% of the Brazilian population got both the first and second jabs. The situation in our country is still of desperation. Then, there came 2021 with great news in science, which brings hope for better days for everyone, especially for people affected by Hansen's disease. But we were soon surprised by the lack of medicine of Hansen's disease treatment. We then began to observe that the population affected by this disease was suffering much more than we imagined it not only due to the lack of medication, but also due to the lack of medical care, exams, dressings. Also, we need to talk to those people in order to understand was, what was actually going on. We used virtual social media for increased reach, we created a Google form and collected complaints from all over the country. We spoke with the Minister of Health to solve this lack of medicines problem, but yet that was not enough. The population affected by Hansen's disease needed more support from Mohan. The movement for the reintegration of people affected by Hansen's disease. Sasakawa Health Foundation launched a public notice for emergency projects. 
we saw that proposal is an opportunity to help more people. But for that, we would have to leave some of the fear that consumed us behind and go to the front lines against hunger and COVID-19. We created a COVID-19 safety protocol and started off field work as many as five more nuclear in the seats of Rio de Janeiro, Vitória da Conquista, Belém, Manaus, and Juazeiro do Norte received Sasakawa Foundation support while additional Mohan Nuclear carried out humanitarian activities with other local partners. Please allow me to share some of our experience in Juazeiro do Norte, which is my seat. Not only did we deliver food and hygiene kits, we also provided home care. We were able to extend the project to eight months with the help of our other partners. During the home visits, we noticed that these families were completely isolated, had health problems caused by the lack of assistance in times of pandemic. And were fearful of contamination by COVID-19. As many as four of our patients in the project have serious health problems. Two of them had their legs amputated and the other two have serious neurological problems. But we also have good news amidst the chaos. The extension of the project to eight months allowed the patient to save some money and by a vehicle, consider he is strongest to walk. Additionally, two patients open a small vegetable selling business. We were incredibly happy to be able to help and give relief and care to some of the people who suffer from this disease in this pandemic. It's an ongoing daily battle because people are hungry for food, hungry for no ledger hunger for living. There are people suffering. We did so much back in the day, and yet it seems like we did so little, but we, we do not quit. We cannot weaken. I was never told it would be easy, but I always knew that living is not easy. Living is about fighting for social and human rights. It's about the resistance. Living with dignity is what people affected by Hansen's disease want and need. Lawmakers need to understand that we are many and we are not weak. And for as long as life, we will fight. Thank you very much indeed.